Hey y'all, I think I should vlog a little bit. I've been kind of sick and pretty depressed. Um, I don't, it's hard for me to talk about it. I get depressed a lot. I know I need to be on medication. Over the years, <clears throat> I've learned to control it, but here lately it's been getting worse. And I've just been in a funk. I don't even feel like cleaning. I don't feel like anything. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm doing cooking videos and all that stuff. And I feel like it's maybe y'all don't want to see that because my views are down. But <sighs> I just feel like maybe I should tell y'all. This ain't no boohoo kind of thing. I'm just letting y'all get to know me um, a little better, I guess. I uh, made myself go to the gym today. I'm about to walk in now. Tan and work out. Try to get myself motivated to do something. Get me out of this funk. My friends can tell I was depressed without me even talking to them. So... Yeah, I guess it's, you know, she knows me too good. I don't know the vibes, I guess. But I'm on, um, quit talking, I'm on getting this place right here and start working out. All right, enough with the boohoo stuff. This was a couple days prior. Johnny is putting some more cool sealant with the tar on the roof. Because that hurricane um, was coming and we had a little leak and it's still leaking, y'all. So, we will be doing a lot, little bit of work <laughs> on this trailer. <sighs> I did not want to, but I have no other choice now. We also have to do a little bit of work in the kitchen. I have a hole that has to be repaired and yeah. So, it'll be a lot of stuff coming up soon, I guess, because, like I said, I have no other choice. We got to get it fixed because we are not going to be able to move to our other trailer, not anytime soon, at least. And for that reason is because we do not have <laughs> around six to $7,000 to get the trees removed. And I'm calling around to find some more people to come out to do the tree work just to get another estimate because we just it's just not in our funds right now and Christmas is coming up and it took a little chunk out of our savings whenever I had to buy a new stove so I'm just going to put what I do have saved into this trailer to get this minor repairs done but enough about that I am just trying to get all these clothes folded up for the week because like I said that storm was coming and if the power did decide to go out and by the way we don't have water again <clears throat> we was waiting on the landlord to because like I told y'all we own the trailer but not the land we do ha um, have to pay lot rent so the well I guess a piece went out and we have no water now but our power never went out but, like I was saying, I was just trying to get everything picked up, put up, and in its place in case the power did go out. I just like to be kind of prepared and not having the place look messy and nasty and all that. Y'all get it. But if you suffer from depression, which I have been diagnosed with bipolar depression, all that, I've went to a psychiatrist, therapist, all that. Like I was saying before, I've learned to control it without the medication. It's just sometimes it gets really hard. So, if you got it, I'm there with y'all. <laughs> so, that's why I'm trying to bring y'all some motivation. Even though I get depressed and I don't want to do it, I have to do it. So, don't let yourself get to that point to where you don't want to do anything. Make yourself do it. And if you need someone to talk to... You can hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. They're usually linked down below. 
but you're in my bedroom now, and I'm trying to make my bed, but you see my cat is, he's crazy, and uh, I will be painting this room soon and doing quite a bit to this room. Uh, it's the smallest room in the house. Like I said, the kids have the master um, bedroom and bathroom, so <laughs> we have a really tiny bedroom, so I'm going to quit talking now. I've talked long enough. And let's play some music. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I know I feel it's something for Don't let 